is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my videos. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Guys, if you are enjoying the content, please make sure to subscribe. Those of you that are watching without subscribing, click the subscribe button down below, like the video and help this channel grow, man. I'm on a mission this year, really trying to push out content, good content. That's why I've been changing a lot of the settings and trying to figure out what works best for me. So definitely make sure to support your boy, subscribe, like, all that jazz. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna be giving you guys four different looks with one coat, my head mainer coat, which I absolutely love. So sit tight and let's hop right into the first look. Starting off with Head Maynard, the designer himself. Now, Head Maynard is an Israeli-born designer. He's been designing for quite a while and I've always enjoyed his pieces. Now, they're, they're quite pricey, I would say, but for me personally, with this coat, I find that like the quality is absolutely there. It's really warm. As you guys know, I've mentioned it various times. I live, I live in Canada, so a lot of the times, I do kind of tend to invest in my coats. I really want something warm, but also something quite stylish. And I feel like Head Maynard does a really, really good job of offering pieces that are quite different, you know, especially with today's fashion. That's quite like, you find a lot of things are pretty similar. I absolutely love his like volume, like sort of drapery sort of designs. And he uses a lot of neutral colors as well, which I absolutely love. I've been a fan of the brand and the designer for quite a while. Absolutely love the clothing. Now, this is the only piece that I have from the brand but I've always had things in my wish list and things that I wish uh, to purchase but obviously with the price point sometimes you kind of have to be calculated as to what you really want and with head mainer I always told myself that like if I buy my first piece that I'm going to get would be uh, a really nice coat this one is from his collection uh, for winter 2019 I believe and absolutely love this coat. It's about 35% wool, so quite warm, and it just has this drapey sort of look to it that I absolutely love. I've been styling it a lot this season, actually. I've worn it quite a few times uh, already, and it's pretty warm as well, which I, I'm i always emphasizing that if I'm gonna invest into some new coats, I always look at how warm it can be, especially during the January and February months. Started off quite simple to be honest. I wanted something a bit more like casual and something that anybody can sort of try. So we have the Studio Nicholson white pair of jeans paired with my Balenciaga derbies that you guys know I never take these off. And finished off the look with my Florence black uh, turtleneck with the coat. Now for this particular outfit, uh, now I could have added a beanie. The only reason why I didn't, I felt like it would look just too for lack of a better word, Instagram me. Like, I, I find that, like, you know, if I had added a beanie, then, like, anybody, like, I feel like anyone that's into fashion has kind of done this uh, before. So I decided to go uh, with uh, a pair of sunglasses just to kind of break away a little bit and try to use different type of accessories, which I do tend to do quite a lot. Like, I find with this particular outfit, for example, you sort of style it with derbies or with boots. Um, you know, the jeans have, like, this sort of, like, shape to them that looks really, really neat. And I kind of did a little tuck into my into my jeans with a turtleneck, which is something that I tend to do. You will see the other looks that I have uh, coming up. Uh, I do tend to tuck in my turtleneck into the jeans or a pair of trousers that I'm wearing because I find that like it just kind of looks a little bit more neat and a little bit more stylish. And to finish off, obviously, I threw on the head mainer coat. Now, the good thing about this coat uh, with this outfit is that it kind of breaks away from all the colors like the white the dark navy and then you have the dark brown which is the coat just to finish off the look so it's a good use of color in my opinion uh, and i think that the outfit still stands out because of the white jeans i feel like the white jeans sort of um showcase the whole outfit like the design of the jacket uh the turtleneck tucked into the jeans and then the derbies of course now for this particular look i feel like i would always go for a more chunkier pair of shoes so either um either this 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 pair of derbies or some of like the 80s uh pair of uh, a pair of uh, low tops i feel like those would look really good with this outfit as well so that's it for the first outfit and we're gonna hop right into the second one So for the second outfit, uh, we have uh, an outfit that I actually already posted on my Instagram. The only thing that I changed in this one was the pair of shoes. Now, to be quite honest, 
you could style all these four looks that I'm gonna show you guys. You could definitely style them with just the same pair of derbies. It's just a simple old black pair of shoes. So it would really go well with any of these outfits. But for this look in particular, the only thing that I changed was the pair of shoes. So I decided to go with my uh, Calvin Klein pair of boots to match these army jeans that I found at a thrift store a while ago. That honestly, I wish I could get more wear out of them. I don't know why, but like, I. I Sometimes you have something is some things in your wardrobe that you kind of don't wear as much and you're like, hey, I should definitely get a bit more wear out of this because they really look good with any pair of shoes that I have in my wardrobe currently. Uh, and then at the top, I finished off the look with Sanja's hoodie that I've actually really enjoyed wearing and layering. Like even if you see on my Instagram, a lot of the pictures, you can see it under layered over a coat or a, a, a jacket or anything of that sort. So in this case, I obviously layered it, well, I under layered it with the head Maynard coat, which looks, in my opinion, really great. And I feel like it's a good way. The, the thing that I love about the hoodie is that it's such a good color when you are when you have a lot of dark colors in your wardrobe. Like in this, in this instance, for example, this was sort of like an all army green type of look. And I feel like going with like a black pair of shoes and then layering the hoodie that has a little bit of a different color kind of brings out the whole look and you can kind of see sort of like the shape of the, uh, the trousers and the shape of the, of, of the coat. So that's what I kind of aim to do here in this second look which is kind of break away from the old green look and make it make sense a little bit. So I decided to go with the Calvin Klein boots as I say, which kind of like, I love the way the trousers sit right on top of the Calvin Klein boot. I always hate when you wear a pair of trousers and you kind of have a gap between the trousers and the boots. And one of the things that I've always wished with these Calvin Klein boots, even though they're absolutely amazing, was that if they could have just made them a little bit longer in terms of length, it would have been absolutely perfect. Kind of like my Bottega boots that I have now. But anyway, they still look great in my opinion. So, uh, but then you can see how nice the shape of these uh, thrifted trousers look with this pair of boots. Now at the top, again, the coat is just such a good coat to just throw on. And the good thing about that is that it, the good thing is that it also keeps you warm, which I'm always emphasizing. If you live in Canada, you definitely need to be warm, especially during January, February, and March. So yeah, we're gonna hop right into the last two looks. Uh, third outfit is actually an outfit that you see me wearing a lot more of. Uh, I think I've worn this, you know, a handful amount of times. But anyway, we have my sort of Japanese brand Hiroki. I always don't know how to pronounce it. So for those of you that are from Japan or wherever that watch this content, excuse me for butchering this name. But anyway, uh, it's a Japanese brand, the sweatpants paired with my Bottega Veneta boots. With regards to this trend of these Bottega boots, I'm absolutely all for it. I think that this is just such a great pair to own just because it's so versatile and it goes with any of your trousers or pair of jeans that you have. I love the chunkiness of it. And personally for me, I've had it for two years now and I've gotten so much wear out of it. In my personal opinion, Definitely a good pair of boots to invest in. I know a lot of people have always asked, like, do I size up, do I size down? For me personally, with boots, I always go a size down. But this one, uh, I think I only went a half, a half a size down and it fits perfectly fine. So uh, that's that for the Bottega boots. I finished off the look with my Carmel Young vest paired with the coat. Now this vest, again, is such a great underlayer. As you guys have seen on my Instagram or even on my videos, I do tend to use it a lot for layering purposes. I find that it looks really good. It looks good and also with the shiny material, it kind of breaks away from the dark colors, um, which, which I really like. So um, other than that, this look is definitely something a bit more simplistic in my opinion. I feel like it's just like, sort of like combat boots with a long jacket in a way. The details come into the way that you layer, the red beanie obviously for accessorizing purposes. And this is something that I kind of like doing where I try to incorporate colors when I'm wearing um, an outfit that's a little bit too dark, you know, because um, there's nothing wrong with sort of wearing like all black, but I always find for me personally, I like to add a little color just to elevate the look a little bit. So that's what I did with this third look here with the red beanie. 
and then uh, obviously the boots I already touched on that now the sweatpants are just such a good pair of sweatpants honestly like I wear these all the time and one of the things that I like with these is that I can kind of tuck them into the boot or I could just layer them uh, on top of the boot and it would still look absolutely perfect and uh, the coat as well just kind of sort of brings the whole look together I find in my opinion and I also love the fact that the coat is dark brown so that whenever I'm wearing like really dark colors at least I have the coat that kind of can stand out a little bit so for the final look it might not necessarily be for everyone but for me personally I absolutely love uh, this look right here I paired my Y project uh, trousers with uh, my Alix loafers which I have kind of started getting a little bit of wear out of them because at some point I was kind of unsure I've kind of been like playing around with them like figuring out what works what doesn't work and I feel like I have slowly started finding um, a couple trousers or a couple jeans in my wardrobe that have been working really well with this Alix uh, slip on so with these white projects that's exactly what I did and then at the top I finished off the look with my Acme Studios turtleneck now this turtleneck I've had for quite a long time I think it's probably coming to like about three years but I love this turtleneck so much it has such a great color to it it's extremely extremely warm hence why I really don't tend to wear it that much unless I know I'm heading out and I'm gonna be out for a while and I'm gonna be walking around it's the perfect uh, turtleneck to wear. Now one of the cool things that I like about this turtleneck is that it has a really high um, uh, neck so uh, I don't even have to wear a mask when I wear this. I can just cover myself, throw in a beanie and I'm pretty much good to go. In this case I threw on my Fear of God cap which you know I'm still getting quite a bit of wear out of it. Not as much as I would like to because now it's cold so all we do is just wear beanies. And I finished off the look again with the coat but I absolutely love this look. I feel like it's just such like every little piece has its own detail which I really like starting from the Alix loafers with the buckle you know the slip on and then you have the white project jeans slash sweatpants then you have this chunky turtleneck which covers your face and finished off the look with the coat I feel like every piece in this outfit stands out and looks absolutely great and in my opinion this was definitely my favorite look just because of the way everything looks and the way everything is put together and there you have it guys that's it on four different looks with one specific coat let me know what you guys think in the comments down below would you guys wear this would you not what's your favorite look leave a comment down below and as always make sure to subscribe and you can always follow me on my instagram g-r-e-g-n-t-r-e where you see a lot of these looks in pictures Thank you for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.